Queensland has a long history of monitoring its fisheries since the early 1900s. Monitoring helps us understand the fisheries resources available for current and future generations. We collect information from commercial fishers, charter operators, seafood processors, recreational fishers and indigenous fishers, and we also do our own fishery independent surveys to assess the status of fish stocks and the sustainability of fisheries. The primary source of data from the commercial fishing and charter sectors comes from logbooks and vessel tracking data. Logbooks are completed to record fisher effort and catch. Additional information is collected for quota fisheries, including accurate weights and landing locations for each trip. Logbooks also record details of any interactions with species of conservation interest, such as turtles, dugongs, whales, dolphins and sea snakes. The logbook itself records things like the date of your trip starting, the date of your trip ending, the catch you've got, the amount of effort you put in, whether you've got other people on board with you, the number of lines, the area you fish, and finally how many fish you actually catch for the day, broken down into species as well. So it's a pretty important tool for recording. Commercial fishing location information is collected through vessel tracking to be rolled out across the entire commercial fleet by 2020. Many commercial fishers, seafood wholesalers and retailers help our scientists by providing access to commercially caught fish for collecting length information and providing fish skeletons known as fish frames for analysis of fish age. When the moderating fisheries come here, it's a huge benefit for them with the amount of local fishermen that will come with all different species so they can get all their data and information to keep on going with all their research. It's a, more of a benefit for us as we supply a lot of restaurants. So the more that fish cut they monitor, the better off it is for us. Recreational fishers also help us gather important fisheries data by being involved in a range of monitoring activities. Our statewide recreational fishing surveys are conducted every few years and lets us know how many people go recreational fishing. The survey is conducted over 12 months and we record when, where and how the survey participants fished, plus what they caught and released. We also conduct regular surveys of recreational fishers at boat ramps and beaches across Queensland. Participating fishers contribute to our monitoring by voluntarily providing information about their fishing trip and the size, species and number of fish they caught. During these surveys, our staff are also on hand to help identify fish and provide information about fishery management arrangements or any recent changes to the rules and regulations. The Keen Angler Program is another way recreational fishers work directly with our scientists. Just as commercial fishers and seafood processors donate samples, our Keen Anglers donate their filleted skeletons or fish frames to help our research efforts. I was donating frames in the late late 1980s I'd say. I'm quite happy to help. I'm naturally curious. I like to know about my fish. If there's any way that I can help out, well, I'm more than happy with that. Fish come home, I clean them, fillet them, record all the details and then ring fisheries. They can come and pick it up when they, when they want. I've got it in the freezer. We're interested in collecting biological information from the fish that people catch, both recreational and commercial fishers. So when we bring fish samples back into the laboratory, um, we're interested in collecting length information, we collect sex information, and we also look at the otoliths or the ear bones that are held in the fish's head. So we're looking at the annual growth bands on the otoliths, similar to growth rings on a tree, and this allows us to determine how old each fish is. So we look at this data across many years because we're looking for trends through time in the changes in the abundance of certain age groups in a stock. Some of those trends can be influenced by environmental parameters. Also, you might find that if fishing pressure has increased, you will see an, a change in the prevalence of certain age groups. It's a really core cool way of being able to routinely look at the health of the stock and the sustainability of the fishery. The work we do with recreational and commercial fishers is also supported by our fishery independent monitoring program. 
For some species, it's necessary to carry out scientifically designed surveys in key areas and at key times. These surveys are conducted using a specialist research vessel or through chartering commercial vessels and operators. All the data we collect is critical to the long-term sustainability of Queensland's fisheries resources. Our monitoring technology and techniques are improving all the time to ensure that accurate data is used to make well-informed decisions about Queensland's fisheries. You can help ensure your fishery is assessed accurately by participating in our fisheries monitoring programs. To be involved or for more information, contact 13 25 23 or email fisheriesmonitoring at daf.qld.gov.au